Thank you for joining me today. Today we'll be going through memorials and their different production stages and also different styles of memorials. Right now we're at the production plant uh, watching the wire saw cut cross shapes. Uh, it is actually cutting three at one time. As you can see the process is very slow. The next stage of the process is polishing the granite. This particular machine is operated by hand and he is using a diamond grit pad on there. It goes from a very aggressive coarse grit to a very fine grit which is going to give you your mirror finish. Here he is finishing off a custom shape using tin oxide to give it a very high luster. It is basically a mirror finish. As you're going to see here in these next few photos, any shape, size you can imagine, it can be done in granite. Starting with a computer generated image that will transfer itself to a, a plotter cutter. As some of you that have been in the business for a long time, you know this used to all be done by hand, hand drawn, hand cut. Technology is wonderful today. This mast is what is going to actually be applied to the granite that is going to allow us to sandblast the images that we would like to see portrayed on the piece of stone. This step here, the mask has already been applied to the granite and it is called weeding. The part you see him pulling out is actually what is going to be sandblasted. This He's cleaning it up, getting every little piece out. As you leave a little piece in, if it does not get blasted out, it will leave a lump inside. The memorial has now been dressed and has moved on to the sandblaster. As you can see here, this is an automated sandblast unit where all our V-cut lines are being sunk. Right now we are about halfway through the sinking process. We are wanting to get to a very clean V cut. Here is a finished product of what you saw in the booth. One of our specialties here at Young & Company and Rock Art of Design is single process shape carving. This adds beauty and dimension to any monument. Scott Young is one of the few people in our area that is a journeyman shape carver in single and double stage shape carving. As you can see he's just finishing off the inner portion of a petal on the rose. He's already completed the hands and the leaves and here's the finished product. As you see it's beautiful. This is called shaping in relief. Here you have a couple of other that have been done and you can see what it does for a monument. Imagine what you can do with two blank pieces of granite. I've removed one inch of rock all the way around the top of the memorial. Right now I'm just smoothing, squaring the surface. There's a saw cut left there. I will use that for my rounded check. The sandblasting has now been finished. At this point in the memorial, I have finished the shape carving on all the ivy leaves. Right now you can see I have tooled most of the background and I am actually hand tooling in between the ivy leaves. As you can guess, it does take a very steady hand, uh, one little slip and you will lose a piece of leaf pretty fast. The next step, I will be tooling the lettering and moving on to the base. The base itself is finished out in the same way that the front was. As you can see here, I'm just finishing up the background. And here is the finished memorial. As you will see through these various photographs, a little bit of imagination can take a square block and turn it into a memorial the family will cherish forever. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.